What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we're going over the big news that is Pokemon Sword and Shield. The expansions have been announced. They are coming in June. Yes, that's quite a while, but uh, we're going to go over as much of the information as we can. I tried to compile and create some, you know, information or just infographics or whatever to go over with you guys so let's begin and uh, yeah so things are going to be spread out over two expansions one in june and one in the fall which means we've got quite a while uh let's talk about price that's pretty important so uh, i just picked this up information off all this information just came from the nintendo website and you can actually pre-purchase it now so good and kind of bad is like you know you pay once it's thirty dollars and you get the expansion pass and it'll include both dlcs uh the isle of armor and the uh the frozen one as well <laughs> um so but you do have to buy it for your specific game so if you have sword make sure you buy the sword one and then for the shield uh if you happen to have both i believe you do have to buy it twice which is kind of unfortunate and they obviously don't mix and match so make sure you buy the correct version you can pre-order it right now off of nintendo.com all right let's take a oh wait and that's just basically it for that information you get both expansions but only for one game all right, Isle of Armor. Uh, so there is a little bit, you can kind of like start the adventure now, uh, but it's pretty limited from what I understand. And uh, they do introduce the new Galarian Slowpoke. And a um, couple couple good things, a couple of bad, not, not, not bad things, but. Uh, all right, so he doesn't look too different. He's just kind of yellow and maybe even more lazy. The thing I like is the category is literally dopey Pokemon. That is awesome. And his ability is Gluttony, own tempo, which I just, I'm guessing just moves at his own pace. Uh, but I do think that that's really funny. Um, the fact that he's just kind of yellow, like, uh, we'll see. But uh, that part at least is a little underwhelming. So, but we do got the Galarian Slowpoke. Again, the Isle of Armor will be accessible in June, uh, which is kind of disappointing. And I guess always knowing more information is better. But the fact that it's like, oh, now I'm so hyped. To be honest, I think I'm more excited for this than I was for the original game. But we're going to have to wait a good six months to get there. But um, so the island armor feels like it's, you know, just a new place you can go to and it adds a lot of like uh, new Pokemon and stuff that like old Pokemon and however, there's not much, doesn't sound like there's going to be a whole lot of story. It sounds like, hey, here's a new area to play at. So it includes new environments and they say things like beaches, forests, bogs, caves and sand dunes like, you know, so it just feels like here's a whole new area you can explore. There is going to be, uh, they kind of hype about this Pokemon Dojo, where you can kind of get trained to get your Poke train to get your Pokemon stronger, learn some new moves and stuff, and they have some kind of restricted sparring. Sounds like challenges where you're limited to these kind of Pokemon that you can use to complete these kind of things. Uh, however, they are introducing a new character, um, Mustard. <laughs> Alright, I did move that a little higher so my face cam's not in the way. Um, but he'll be your mentor, I guess, and uh, sounds like he was the previous champion for a good over a decade or something before um, Gigantamax has started. And uh, I guess he kind of was familiar with Leon and kind of saw his, you know, his how promising he was pretty early on. Um, but and then we'll go into some more information about the dojo stuff but uh obviously they are going to be releasing more pokemon and some of the old ones that will be featured in this dlc include kingdra volcarona magnazone lycanroc zorua chansey and dedene and um azuril i think it's pronounced uh so that's pretty cool they are bringing back i think they said over 200 pokemon will be added uh, old Pokemon from previous generations will be added to the game in these DLCs. Now let's talk about some new Pokemon. And uh, first one is Cub Fu. It sounds like some kind of like Kung Fu bear kind of thing. Uh, looks pretty cool. And so what does he turn into? Because that's obviously the base form, only two feet tall. He turns into Urshifu. Urshifu. Um, Urshifu. Interesting name. And so 
This is this part's kind of cool because he does have two different forms, one called single strike and one called rapid strike. Uh, from the descriptions, kind of sound like single strike is just like, all right, this guy's super strong, his attacks will be very powerful, and then rapid strike sounds like more of a finesse approach. You know, they say like he kind of like reads the moves and responds to that. I'm curious how they'll kind of implement that in the game because like in you could kind of obviously tell the di obvious differences like if this were like a show or something but when you have to build it into the existing mechanics of the game that's not that straight or the single strike is probably pretty straightforward but the rapid strike will be interesting how they implement that so they did have one area of text where they kind of mentioned that kung fu will evolve into either one of these only one um and whatever you do throughout the adventure will determine um, which of those you get and it's probably it'll probably be pretty obvious I, my guess is because they're pretty drastically different like oh you know am I going to try to respond to the situation or I'm just going to go all out always like guns blazing or fist go <laughs> full power uh, and that will determine which one you get and um, so I do wonder, based on that, I wonder if this is a situation where you only get one Kung Fu and then throughout the adventure you get, you know, your version of Rishifu. Um, almost kind of like, I don't know, if I were to paint an analogy, it's like in the very, very first game, you know, when you, uh, I think it's in Mount Moon or something, you pick whatever fossil you want, which either uh, determines whether you get an Amistar or a Kabut Tops. But uh, so my guess is going to be something similar for Kung Fu. And these guys do go Giganto, whatever, Max. And <laughs> these guys do look pretty strong. Um, they kind of look like big god statues that you see like in some kind of big temple or something. So those look pretty cool. All right, the Crown Tundra. I think this one I'm more excited about. This one feels like, all right, you're going to go into a big new adventure. This sounds like it's kind of like an unexplored mountainous icy region and actually the kind of like the storyline is that you are leading one of the explore exploration teams into those mountains um, and they mention things like you can really explore the depths of the dens and maybe we'll encounter some new legendaries uh, which we'll get to I think that's probably like this the information that I was most excited about got me the most hyped and once again of course we'll be introducing new and old Pokemon uh, so some of the new ones that we can expect or the old ones we expect here um, I would say these ones are less exciting but stuff that makes sense like Crowgon or whatever um, Reddit seemed to be particularly hyped about Celia <laughs> which I thought was pretty funny then we got some other ones like Garchomp which is cool and Crobat and stuff like that so new Pokemon being wrapped in you know all this stuff about the decks and stuff like that you know they are introducing them um, I kind of I'm pretty pretty impressed that they could kind of keep that you know kind of under wraps up till now but uh all right how about some of the new pokemons so this calyrex calyrex um looks kind of weird to me i guess this so category is king pokemon i guess this was kind of like the ruler and it's something about he sees the past present and future sounds pretty strange to me you know but sounds like just like it's going to be the legendary pokemon of this uh area i guess is that when you encounter it but all right, we got a new Pokemon as well. I think I'm more excited for the Kung Fu. <laughs> so it's going to be spaced out where like the adventure for the uh, the, the Frozen Crown sounds way more interesting. Um, but the new Pokemon they're going to introduce is, sounds pretty cool for in the, in the Isle of Armor. All right, <clears throat> we got some more <coughs> Gigantamax. I always struggle to say that, but the starters, they kind of revamped them in the Isle of Armor. So we will get this in the first DLC. And so that third picture is kind of hard to see, but uh, you know, there's always been these memes about, all right, the next Pokemon game has already been announced. It's going to be, we already have sword, we already have shield, and now we're gonna have gun. And uh, yeah, Inteleon did get his gun. Here's like another picture I found on Reddit. Um, one, I went to League yesterday and someone was saying that, you know, all these Pokemon were kind of um, designed around specific personas and that Intellion was supposed to be like a secret agent almost like a James Bond kind of thing which I totally see and he kind of always has like his gun pose and all right now he really has his gun <laughs> he's ready to go so that's pretty cool but these are not the Giga Maxes that I was super hyped for or am super hyped for uh, we have some other ones and they did bring the other starters so here's the Venus on this one. I have no idea what I'm looking at. It looks like 
I don't know, the Ludicolo kind of like hat kind of thing. And I don't know if it looks more like tomato from a burger or something. I think someone said on Reddit, or it looks kind of like bacon strips on the Venusaur for his hat. So Venusaur looks pretty strange to me. And that wasn't the one that gets gets me going. It is this, oh, this beast. Oh, my boy Blastoise is going Gigamax and oh my gosh, this guy looks insane. This is a walking slowly fortress. You know, you thought his turrets looked cool before. This guy has, I don't know, 360 coverage and I can't tell what's going on in the top of the shell, but this this guy looks amazing I'm so excited you know we talk about sword and shield cards coming out like oh man tell me when V max blastoise comes and we're going to be all over that card seriously this card look this guy looks amazing but uh, all right what else do we have coming in this DLC that we know about so far and that is some new legendaries and I keep doing this so here we got a uh, shout out to Purge on Discord. He actually gave me, um, you know, bubbles of, hey, you know, maybe we should make a video on this and speculated maybe these are some new regices. Uh, the top one kind of looks like some kind of electric type. I'm not sure about the bottom one, but the bottom one, you know what it reminds me? It reminds me of Mawile's tail or whatever. Kind of like how it looks like it's some kind of, I don't know, like dragon skull kind of thing for its jaws. And that does look pretty cool, but definitely that one doesn't take the cake. It's this concept art that really gets me excited. We got legendary birds. I'm not sure if they're just like they're Galarian birds or just, you know, new legendaries altogether. But these guys look insane. Uh, and the way that they kind of space this out, like over this kind of tree thing, I'm curious what the backstory is going to be there. But man, these or most of these look amazing. Let's take a look. So I think my favorite one is this Articuno. That thing looks so majestic. Like probably Articuno is probably always the coolest, uh, at least in my opinion. And oh my gosh, this it's still the case here. Articuno looks amazing. Moltres looks pretty cool. Looks like it may be some kind of like uh, dark fire type, which would, would be interesting. And then Zapdos looks kind of weird. <laughs> looks like he's going into some kind of like emu form. Although from these concept pictures, it does look like he can still fly. Uh, but just comparing to the other two, Zapdos is a little less underwhelming. I'm not sure what's going to change. Um, but these birds look amazing. So I'm really excited for these. Uh, hopefully, uh, my guess is that these will be in the expansion coming out in the fall, but that'd be awesome if we can get some of them in the island armor coming out in June. So that's gonna be it. Um, that's all the information that I currently kind of scrounged through. And uh, so yeah, super exciting. But uh, yeah, now we wait. Isle of Armor is not coming out till June, um, so we got a good six months there, and then Crown Tundra not until not until fall. So, yeah, again, I guess it's nice that we know ahead of time, and now we're so excited. But six months is a while. But you know, as new information comes out, we'll probably try to keep everyone up to date. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for me today. Hopefully, this was helpful. In case you weren't uh, browsing, in case you don't look at the latest news on a daily basis. But uh, anyway, let me know in a comment down below what are you the most excited about. For me, it's it's a it's tight. Those, those birds are really cool. But that blast. <laughs> I want that Blastoise and man when when that when uh, that comes out in the TCG oh I am gonna be so excited I hope that that card is amazing I am ready for the VMAX Blastoise meta to come <laughs> hopefully in the hopefully we don't have to wait until fall for that so that's gonna be it for me today as always guys let me know what your thoughts are in a comment down below and uh, if you did enjoy the content do me a favor hit that like button subscribe for more more videos if you're not or not already subbed and thanks for watching guys I'm Moana Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time.